Illinois Fudge with Shoreline Marine Products. I've been a certified marine mechanic for over 25 years and I'm here today as Captain Weekend. Today I'm going to share a variety of easy boating projects that you can do yourself with the common tools that you've probably got in your toolbox right now. I'll be by your side every step of the way and together we'll install a variety of top quality Shoreline Marine Products to get you back on the water faster. So let's get going. Grab your tools and I'll share my tips and tricks so you can easily install those new hot shoreline accessory and replacement parts and be your own Captain Weekend. Hi, it's Lloyd, Captain Weekend with Shoreline Marine Products. My boat sat for about a month or so. My jack locked up, I'm gonna to have to replace it. Got a lot of rust and corrosion down here in the bottom. So I figured that if I'm gonna replace it, I'm gonna upgrade it, make something that I won't have to worry about for a long time to come. I decided on going with the Shoreline Marine heavy duty jack, nice EDC coated, so it keep down corrosion. All the hardware is zinc plated. It'll bolt onto any trailer with the multiple bolt holes to allow your tongue widths Whatever you have, three, four inch, it'll fit it. Won't have to worry about it. It'll swivel, so I can get it out of the way while I'm towing. Nice oversized wheel, all terrain, so when I have it parked in the pasture and I need to move it to get something else out, I just can roll it out of the way and it won't be digging down in the dirt or the gravel. We're ready to install it. Want to get a little assembly done before we put it on. For the most part, the jack comes completely assembled. All we have to put on is our power grip handle. All right, so we're going to install it. Got to make sure that the washer goes on by the handle. There's a flat spot on the bolt that fits into a keyed part on the rotating assembly. Put it in. Put your nut on. 12 millimeter wrench. Tighten it up. And we're ready to go ahead and put it on the trailer. We're going to take the old jack off right now. Nice easy way to do it is keep it attached to your truck. You can jack your wheel up, off, everything's clear. You'll be able to pull it right off. I knew I was going to be doing this today, so last night before I crashed, I put some nice penetrating oil on the bolts, make sure I could get everything off real easy. Old jacks, never can tell what size bolt, 9 16 5 8 11 16 You just kind of hunt and peck. Our new one's always a 17 millimeter, so you put, need a 17 millimeter open end wrench and a 17 millimeter ratchet, you'll be ready to go. Take the old one off. Go the right way. If you just loosen the top ones, Take off all the bottom ones, then your jack will lift right off. All you got to do is find the two bolts and washers that you removed. Everything else is together so you can toss it in the garbage. Now we're ready to install the new jack. You'll notice the, all the mounting different mounting holes on here, mounting holes on the brackets. Your single hole at the top, your single hole at the bottom. Make sure your U-channel is going to face the outside of your trailer. Take a couple of your bolts. Slide them in. Stuck them down a little bit. Then you can decide on where you want to mount it. If you want to put it back on where it was, you can just snug them down some. Stick your other bolt through.
And before you tighten it down, you want to make sure that you can swing and everything clears. Then you can put the rest of your hardware on, tighten it up, nice, easy, 15 minutes and you're done. A couple things we want to make sure of when we are mounting it. When you put the bottom bolts in on the bracket, you want to make sure that the bolt is at the bottom of the tongue. We've got the extra mounting holes on the bracket for adjustable for up to a five inch tongue so that if you put it down at the bottom bolt, you'll tend to bend your bracket in and then it doesn't take very long for your jack to get loose. It'll start rotating on your tongue, sliding back and forth. Then you got to keep tightening it up and tightening it up. If you use the, the tongue as a wedge, you won't have to worry about that. Also, as you're tightening, you want to make sure that you tighten evenly, evenly on all of the bolts. That way you won't have any bends in your rotating plate so that you have a nice smooth swing away on your tongue jack. Flip our jack up, we're ready to go to the water.